right guys, so today we've got the five striker skills that every striker must have. YouTube is full, full of flashy skills and all sorts of stuff, but today it's about goals. The five skills every striker needs to ball out. Goals, son. These are the five essential skills for every striker. And when we say essential, we mean that every solid striker in every league in the world has most or all of these skills perfected. We're going to break them down so you too can ball the goal around you. Want. There will always be time for the flashy, and you guys know we love that stuff, but the cut is a staple of a great striker for two reasons. Number one, great strikers are always looking to score, and because of that, they set themselves up to shoot constantly. But not all cuts are made equal, so here's how to improve yours. First, make sure that the ball is tapped out to the side far enough that the defender feels he needs to reach to block the shot. Next, sell the cut by literally pretending to shoot until the last second. If you don't believe it, they won't either. Finally, throw your body completely over to the side, move with the flow, and try to be as fluid as possible. Well, well, well. Can we start out by saying that we've made what is the step over Bible? So if you really wanna go in depth here, check those out. The theme of the moves today is dependable. The step over is dependable. It almost always guarantees that the defender has to hesitate. First, build up speed. Next, take proper small touches to prepare for the scissors and then drop your shoulder with force and purpose. As quickly as you can, tap the ball out the opposite way and sprint like somebody just stole your Chipotle burrito. We don't need to say much here except that the more you do this action in training and alone, the more efficient you'll be, so practice. As a variation, there's the drag step over, which will allow you some more options if you get it down. Now, our boy Robinho does it with perfection, and you can too, remembering these three points. Drag the ball from behind or the side of you towards the direction you want to go. Once the ball's built up speed, step over and then, of course, explode. It's worth every penny to get down because this is the type of move that just might get the defender to disappear. If you feel comfortable with all of these, start working on your multiple step overs, which you can see here because they are more useful than you might think. But check out that seven deadly step overs video for more. Did you expect to see this? Because you should have. Are you tired of hearing about the fame? Yes? Well, I don't care because it works. There's a whole generation of kids out here now introduced to the effectiveness of the feint simply because Messi perfected it to a level that no one had ever done before. A quick reminder is all we need. And some of the whack YouTubers that pretend to be good at football seem to gloss over the most important points in this move. And it's a direct reflection of having not played the game at a high level. You can't teach what you don't know. Your approach is key in this move. If you move slowly towards the defender, your feint should be quick. You lull the defender to sleep and then boom, drop your shoulder and quickly move your hips and body one way and flick the ball the other. What's useful to know is that at higher speeds, when running very quickly with the ball, you hardly have to feint in order to get the same response. When running quickly at a defender that's backing up or still, simply start to feint to both sides. You don't need to know which way to go. The defender's reaction will reveal everything to you. Practice makes perfect with this. It will feel awkward at first, but if you get it, it's very hard to stop. Another shout out to the OG Ronaldo for this shot feint. It's one of the most common ways to get off a shot when a defender is in a good defensive position. That's why it's here. So approach the defender at medium to fast pace. Pick up your strong foot and shimmy it in the air before dropping the shoulder, feinting one way, and then looking to shoot. This is one of the most effective moves when you are tired. So keep it in your back pocket for the 90th minute. As an attacking player, you must learn to play with your back to goal. The best way to learn is to watch players with similar physical attributes as yourself and see how they deal with it. Ibrahimovic and Aguero are both strikers, but they have very different options. Our goal is to turn with the ball, and this is one of the easiest ways to do so without compromising too much. Lean into the defender, and when you feel the time is right, push off and step over the ball to turn. Expect them to rush in, so stay light on your feet. From here, you can take them on or pass. Regardless, you're better off facing the goal 
than not. If you by no means can't get turned, but you still want to take a shot, try this on for size. It's probably the flashiest of all the moves today, but it works well. Before you do this, spot where you are on the field. Am I in the middle or on the wing? Think before you move. Where should the goalie be standing? Once you have an idea of where you're shooting, shooting far or near post, drag your foot over the ball and quickly move your body with the ball so the defender is tempted to come with you. Then immediately snap your foot down and back to swing the ball out just enough that you can shoot, hopefully first time, which is why you need to have a good idea of where the goalie is. You won't have time to look once you turn. You won't be able to do this 10 times a game, but if you do it right, that should be all you need. Simplicity is beauty. Sometimes the most obvious thing to do is the last thing the defender is thinking. The idea here is to literally do nothing. Just shoot. Now that doesn't mean that you can kick the ball right at them, but if you look for a little window, you just might find it. To make our point, let's have a look at these three goals with Henri kicking us off. Notice that as he receives the pass, he does so in stride and takes touches that are truly simply set up for the shot. By the time he takes his second or third touch, he knows he can shoot because the defender continues to drop and that's that. You don't always need to be the defender to score. As we move on to Mr. Mbappe, this goal which just happened, unfortunately called back for offsides, encompasses a lot of what we spoke about today. Look at the cuts and the way he throws his body to look for an opening. Notice the defenders reacting and realizing that because of his actions, they cannot dive in. And then finally spot the second where Mbappe realizes that he can just simply aim for the back post. No mess, no fuss, an excellent finish. Finally, our boy once again highlights the best part of the do-nothing tactic, which is the element of surprise. Think of how many different skill moves Ronaldo knows, and think of how surprised the goalie was to just see a simple toe poke when R9 is going 1v1. It's the entire reason he scored. This is the point we want to get across. Training will make all of these things more natural for you, but the fact of the matter is, if you want to increase your goal scoring, then you need to increase your opportunities, and you can do that with these five skills and then move from there. Technique is key. King and never forget, Goal Ramey decides. All right, guys, that's the vid. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out GoalRamey.com. Subscribe again. If you didn't subscribe, do it right now. Click the bell notification and check out our best selling supplement, Ashwagandha. It's selling like hotcakes, people. Later. Peace. Wake up, get up. Stretch my legs, eat some breakfast, milk and